Um, my name is Mikey Corker and I'm the manager of Lucifer Surf Shop in North Devon. We've got a, a wide range of boards at all times in the shop, uh, but most people who come in, it's like you look at everybody's, just you look at the different body types that come in, you know, you get tall people, short people, wide people, like absolutely everything and, and surfing equipment is so specific. So what we do is we've got a range of boards that you can see a particular model, but the thing that we love to do the most is, is offer the customer service. So I have a really good discussion with someone. I sit down, we have a cup of tea, and we'll take an hour or however long it takes. It sometimes it take, you know, sometimes the process can take a few months from the first conversation to delivering a product. And and I think it's the years experience we have. Like just with it, I mean, I've grown up. I've been surfing twenty odd years, so you kind of utilizing the knowledge picked up over all that time when somebody comes in it's like we we feel like translators you like listen to you know ask them about what they've been riding and you take in all this data and then and then we'll run run them through the, through the range and we work with a company in Cornwall called Phoenix Surfboards and and you know the, who produce our stuff it's all handmade really specific and it, like what we do is we take all that information that we get from the person and then you know, translate that into a design, and and four weeks later, you know, there, there's their board ready to go, and it's, I think it's, I think it's a really magical process to be a part of, and seeing seeing the stoke in someone when they when they come back to the shop like a few weeks later with a board that they absolutely love because they really, like a good surfboard is such a treasured item, it's like, you know, people just you know they really love it, and, and yeah, it's really nice to see. It's it's an amazing process. We've always stayed away from the mainstream brands. I mean, you know, everybody's doing it, and it's not. It's that's not a sort of race we wanted to ever run in. And and there's companies out there, really amazing companies like Finisterre, a local Cornish company, Patagonia, American company. Two two good examples who are producing really high quality stuff. Uh, you know, and and it's those companies we want to support and and sell their products, and it's just. In, in the surfing sort of industry, there are a few of these companies out there that are producing good stuff, and, and those are the companies that, that you know, that, that we want to support. So, and, you know, as, as, for instance, another brand we do is a Glass Tiger Surfboards, handmade in, handmade in Cornwall by a young guy, Mark Roberts, who uh, studied boat building. And he's, the, the whole idea is to, to build a, um, a surfboard from more sustainable materials, high quality, um, bespoke bespoke boards and, and, and we've been funding basically sort of bankrolling the, the research and development and, and working with them to develop a product that we can put on the rails and it's going to compete with, with, with any other board on the market in so many ways and uh, it's things like that, that that's, that's really where our passion is it's just to, to, to look at guys doing stuff a little bit differently and, uh, and hopefully also help sort of the, the, the design and developmental approach you know, aspect of what they're doing, however we can, because we're in a good position to. Uh, surfboards are the easiest things for me to sell. Like, I just absolutely love surfboards. I love talking about them. I love riding them. It's, you know, if I wasn't if I wasn't working in the shop, I'd still probably be in a shop talking about surfboards to someone. It's a, uh, you know, and everybody who works there, we all feel the same. You know, like it's, I think it's without sounding cheesy it's 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 a lifestyle thing you know it's what we've kind of all that's our sole focus and so you know working in the shop is the easiest thing for all of us really because we're actually just doing what we love (laughs) (laughs) i think i'm crap with a tape recording